Hey guys, today in this review we are taking a look at another Predator 2 NECA figure and up on the docket today we of course have the Ultimate Boar Predator. Let's get a better look at that packaging, shall we? So up here we of course have this awesome artwork of the Boar Predator up here. Looking great, Predator 2, Boar Predator right there. Cool artwork right there. And then we got the Predator 2 logo, 30th anniversary, right there. Now on the back, we have the bio of the Boar Predator. Pretty interesting stuff for the lore building of these characters who are only literally in the movie for like seconds. It's awesome the lore that they have for these characters. And then of course, you have pictures of the figure with some of the accessories. We of course have all of the different accessories listed down there. The checklist for all of the members of the Lost Tribe right there. I believe as well, I don't remember if if that's Jungle Hunter or not, but this, all the movie, main movie Predators, and then of course Predator 2, Ultimate Boar Predator number eight on top. We of course have the Predator 2 logo again with the skull, with the trophy room of the alien ship with that Alien school right there, ages 17 and up. Of course, the NECA logo right there. And on the bottom, we of course have the credits for the people who did this amazing figure. I'm assuming it's amazing. <laughs> and then of course you have the barcode for all you barcode hunters. I know, I know, I see you. And of course you have the flap where you've got a portrait of the boar predator right there. And then we have the figure and all of its contents right there. But uh, all right guys, let's get this dude out of the packaging. All right guys, and now that we have the boar predator out of the packaging, we're of course gonna take a look at the other contents of the figure. We're starting off with the accessories, of course. First off, we have his um, his shoulder cannon. Again, same thing as the Stalker Predator. You put it up like that. And his actually goes on his left side. Yeah, left side. And then you just angle the cannon like you want. With mine, the hinge on the cannon was very stiff. So be aware of that when you're uh, getting out this figure and just in general the shifty thing is also very loose online so keep that in mind it also comes with a blast effect piece of course to make it look like the can's actually firing off a blaster effect looks very cool like that a lot nothing new here but we've also got the discs uh, I think we've got, yeah, so we've got the folded up disc in his shin, and then we've got the open disc where it comes with the hand specifically to hold the open disc, like so, so you get that, that looks pretty cool. And you could also like balance, wedge it in and get like he's actually holding it, like he's gonna throw it or something like that. Very cool stuff. We of course have the net launcher for both sides of his of his wrists. I'll get in, I'll get into these more as we get into the actual figure because that'll uh, that's one of my points on this figure. And then we have. A skull, of course, a skull. Uh, the weathering on this one's actually very cool. I like the gray on it. Looks pretty good. Very unique compared to other ones. But you can see where the seam is and so. But overall, nice skull. It's a nice skull. And then we also have combi sticks. One, oh, one closed, one open in his hand right there. And... This one looks great. This one looks pretty good. I like this one a lot. 
Again, nothing new, just, you know, your standard Predator stuff. And then I'll give you a better look at the combi stick that he's holding, which mine came a little warped. Not gonna lie, mine came a little warped. So it's a bit janky. But it's not a bad combi stick, nice paint apps. Nice paint apps with the bronze and the cloth around the middle there. It's overall a good looking piece and overall just a great sculpt in general. I always like the combi sticks. They're a cool invention for the second movie. And then we have the other hands, which are, of course, he comes with two open palms. That's what he comes with straight out of the packaging. And he comes with two grip hands, one larger grip hand for the combi stick and one smaller grip hand for, I guess, like um, holding the, a shorter end of the combi stick. It's just a smaller grip. Like a, maybe to um, hold the discs like that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know why these hands are all, come with every single figure besides a Lost Predator. Because with Lost Predator, this actually fits with his uh, with his katana very well. And then we, of course, don't have a Predator figure without a masked and unmasked head. So here is the unmasked head. And this looked great. I really look... It, it kind of sucks that he looks like he was barbecued on top of his uh, head. But... Eh, I don't know. Yeah, he just looks barbecued and sautéed and... Yeah... <laughs> But besides that, he looks great. Um, I like the partially open mouth. I'm definitely going to use the unmasked head for my um, Alien vs. Predator display. Or, or more accurately, Lost Tribe vs. Alien display right there. Love all the, the rings around the dreads right there. Nice dreads right there course you got the uh what are these called it's been a while since i reviewed a predator figure i'm sorry but um the mandibles right there the slightly open mandibles and you get a deep in shot of the mouth awesome and i also love the eyes this is just a great head overall but um let's get a better look at the figure and i'll uh I think this uh, disc is in pretty good, so we're not going to worry about it falling out. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much a kit bash of um, previous Predator figures, because it looks like it's the, the upper torso of Stalker, I'm pretty sure. And then we've got the same, the same wrists on each side which come with two wrist computers and two net launchers. So that's why we have two of those. And of course, just for example, there's a little thing right there. It looks kind of like dragon scales a little. You pull that section out and you put this one right in there and you get, the, and you get whatever that is. Still don't know what those are. Because they're not the net launcher, because net launcher is actually cool and noticeable. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's largely mostly the same. You got the Predator, you got the uh, City Hunter uh, elbow pads right here. You got some um, bones right there. Of course, the helmets. Helmet looks pretty good. I like what they did with the helmets with... Um, they actually did a unique uh, sculpt on the helmet because I'm pretty sure with um, Stalker, it doesn't have these gold paints right there. Pretty sure there isn't those gold sections. So that's cool to make Boar unique from Stalker since they are brothers, of course. And then, of course, we also have the dreads for the Stalker, which, again, very nice. And then also... There's this little thing on the back. 
and then there's these little indents in the shoulder cannon and you put it on like so and then of course you turn it around like so but I, i'll ch i choose to leave mine off because um the this one in particular falls off a lot for me i've just had really bad luck so don't exclude that but overall again same thing as all the other Predator figures. The paint's great. Um, uh, again, the netting looks absolutely looks fantastic. Um, it's very weird coloring on this figure. I realized it's a it's an orange, yellow, brownish kind of color, and it just. It, it feels like we've seen it before, you know? It, it really feels like it's just another Predator. <laughs> Which, I mean, these get all, all the members of Lost Tribe, besides um, Greyback and the City Hunter, are literally just background characters. But Neko went uh, above and beyond to give, that, to give um, at least some cool accessories. But with this boar here, you really just have another predator like th this guy is literally just another predator but um yeah like again it looks great you know it's got all the netting all the netting looks great got the uh little holster for the for the unextended uh disc right there which looks pretty good and you got to really stretch that out again one of the main problems with the figure is uh the disc not be, the disc holder not being able to hold the disc immediately you got to really stretch that out and then of course you have the recycled uh city hunter legs right here because of the net launcher port right there but but yeah th this guy's mainly just more of the same unfortunately he's just another predator you're gonna put in the background which is very sad, but then again, you gotta have some duds. I understand. He's not a great figure, but he's not an absolutely terrible figure. But uh, let's get a better look at his articulation. His head moves up that far. He moves down about that far. And he has head swivel like so. And can tilt his head kind of so. Okay range in the head. We have, of course, ball jointed shoulders right there. Moves down about that far, up about that far. He can rotate all the way around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which look better than McFarlane joints. And then we, of course, have uh, the gauntlets actually rotate. So that's something. Gauntlets rotate, and then the arms also rotate the hands also rotate and they move they hinge just in and out like so it's unfortunate that they can't do both and then with the torso you've got very limited mobility you can only move that far forward and it can move only that far back it's kind of unfortunate but you're not really looking into the articulation you're looking for good sculpts here and you get those and with the legs, you get, of course, those Neko legs right there, which, of course, can move out like so. Move down. Forward about that much. Backward about that much. He's got thigh swivel. Double-jointed knees, which look pretty good. And I love the painting of the netting all the way through on the joint and then we, we of course at the bottom have ankles that move down they move up they swivel and they also have ankle rockers and uh yeah overall pretty pretty great articulation articulation not the most insane amount of movement but the sculpt and the way the articulation works is absolutely phenomenal and here he is with all the headlining Predators from the Predator franchise that I own. We, of course, have 
Fugitive from Predator, from The Predator 2018. We have, of course, City Hunter, and then classic Jungle Hunter right there. And these guys all look pretty good together, not gonna lie. But then again, you can clearly see what they took from City Hunter with this guy. Like, you can clearly tell they took the legs, they took the arms, they switched out, they put just put his bracer, City Hunter's bracer on both sides. Like, they definitely just kit-bashed the City Hunter and a few other sculpts together. And voila, you have Boar right here. And here we have all the Lost Tribe in, in my collection. We're only missing, I believe it's um, Berserker, Snake, and Elder. And then we have all of them, I'm pretty sure. But we do have, however, we have Shaman on the left, going left to right, Shaman, City Hunter, uh, Warrior, we got Boar Predator here, we have Lost Predator here, then we have Stalker at the end. And remember, these guys are brothers. So, a little bit of trivia for you there. But then again, this, um, this uh, display looks great. They all look great together. They should, because they were probably made with that intent, because you know they're the Lost Tribe. But... Yeah, this is looking like a banging lineup, and I'm very excited to, to get the other three in here and give their uniqueness to the Lost Hunters as a whole. And all right, guys, that'll do it for this review of the NECA Toys Ultimate Boar Predator here. And again, he's not a bad figure. It's just the fact that he's just a reuse of so many other characters. So many other uh, sculpts, mainly the City Hunter. And he just doesn't come with any accessories to really make him pop. Like, I'd say Warrior Predator is the same thing, but at least he's got an alternate paint job and an axe and a mace, you know what I mean? This guy's just, you know, he's got a combi stick and he's got the cannon and the, the disc and that's about it, you know what I mean? He doesn't really have anything to give him that oomph factor. So... That's saying he's definitely the lowest on my list because with Stalker, honestly, him and Stalker can pretty much go hand in hand, but Stalker was just the first one I got. And I also like uh, the tiger print on him. It makes him look more fierce. And with this one, it's just kind of eh. He's just okay. But uh, with this guy, yeah, I'll give him, I want to say a nine which is very low for a predator figure. Like you either like he's objectively a good figure. Again, NECA doesn't really do a whole lot with like good articulation in terms of like range of movement and stuff like that, but they have enough, you know what I mean? But outside of that, they, it's really in the paint and the sculpt and there's and the accessories and there's nothing really that gives him that oomph factor. So, with that said, He's the lowest ranked on my list as of this moment. And, um, yeah, guys, this is the end of this review. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. And, as always, tell me what you think of the figure down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I always love reading what people think about either the review, the figure itself, whatever. I love engaging with you guys. And, uh... Yeah, guys, as always, um, be kind to one another and uh, keep collecting. And I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.